hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a recipe of mango pickle it will be a dry mango pickle with low oil and low spices it's so much delicious to eat and very easy to make and it will stay for a whole year without any kind of preservatives so guys let's see the recipe for making mango pickle i am taking four green mangoes that means raw mangoes they should not be baby mangoes their seeds should be hard i washed them properly and after washing i wiped them with a cotton cloth to dry them up there should be no water on the mangoes now we need to cut them into pieces for cutting the hard mangoes i have this kind of chopper you may use any kind of chopper that will help you cutting a hard mango hard green mango i'm cutting them like this you may keep the size according to your choice there is no problem i am cutting them lengthwise after cutting all of the mangoes we need to add some salt and some turmeric powder in it i am adding about 1 teaspoon of salt and about 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder now we need to mix everything very well but we should not use our hand for this process we have to do this process without using our hand you may use a spoon for this or you may do it like me if you use your hand it will create fungus very quickly and the shelf life of the pickle will be decreased after mixing everything very well we need to leave it for about 3 to 4 hours for leaving it we need to use a strainer i don't have a big size strainer so i'm using this basket for this and putting the bowl below the basket because of salt some water will be released from the mangoes and they will drain under the basket in the bowl so now we need to cover it with a lid and leave it for about 4 to 5 hours so after about 5 hours i am uncovering it and here are our mangoes this quantity of water is released from the mangoes and we need to throw it after throwing the water we need to leave it in the sun for about 4 to 5 hours i'm taking a plate and adding the green mangoes on the plate spreading them nicely with the help of a fork we should not use our hand now because they are not still dry so with the help of a fork i am spreading them well in the plate and now i am going to leave it in the sun for about 4 to 5 hours in between we need to flip them for once to do this process evenly and after about 5 hours these are our mangoes they are not fully dried up but they have not so much moisture in them so now we need to do the rest of the process Now we need to roast some spices. At first, it's actually split mustard seeds. They are actually called mustard lentils in India. That means sarso ki dal. You will get it in any big grocery shop. And I'm taking about fifty grams of it. We need to roast it on medium to low heat for about two to three minutes. We need to stir it continuously to avoid burn from the bottom. If it's not available near you you may take the whole mustard seeds there's no problem We need to remove all the moisture from it and after about 2 to 3 minutes they are done it's very nicely aromatic now and the color is little changed as you can notice So now I'm removing it in a plate and now we need to roast some salt it's regular salt it will be less than half cup I am roasting it and I am going to use half of it for this pickle. I am making another pickle along with this and I am going to use the rest half for that pickle. After roasting for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium to low heat, the salt is done. I am removing it. And after that, we need to make some spices powder. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds. 1/4 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds half teaspoon of black peppers 7 to 8 cloves and about 2 inches of dalchini that means cinnamon 
Now we need to roast everything on medium to low heat for about 2 to 3 minutes and after that we need to cool it down and after cooling down we need to make a coarse powder of it in mixer grinder. So now we need to make the oil for the pickle. I am taking about 1 fourth cup of oil. It's regular refined oil. You may take any kind of cooking oil, there is no problem. It's heated well and I have put some uh, mustard seeds in the oil. The mustard seeds are crackling well, that means the oil is done for our pickle. Now I turn the heat off and after turning heat off, we need to add some spices in the hot oil. The heat is off now, but oil is hot still. So now I am adding about half teaspoon of uh, hing that means asafoetida and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. After adding them we need to leave the oil for some time until it's cooled down fully. And now the oil is fully cooled down. It's normal temperature now. So now I am taking a bowl and adding all the green mangoes, dry green mangoes. It's not actually dry, it's half dried up. And after that we need to add the oil in the green mangoes. And mix everything very well with the help of a spoon. Don't use your hand for this. After mixing well, we need to add some spices. The oil should be well coated on every piece of green mango. After mixing well, I am adding the spices. This is the roasted whole spices powder and this is the half quantity of the full. And I used the rest half for another pickle. And now, the mustard seeds lentils it's also the half quantity of the total and about one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder if you don't like spiciness in the pickle you may use paprika powder for a brighter color only and now salt about three tablespoons of roasted salt mixing everything very well the spices should be well coated on all the pieces of green mangoes after mixing well, we need to put it in a container and put the container in the sun for about 8 to 9 days. You can see guys, everything is mixed up very well. Now I am going to add it in a container. It will be better if you have a glass container to store it. But I don't have a big size glass jar for it. So I am taking a plastic jar, plastic container. I washed it very nicely and dried it in the sun for 1 to 2 hours. I am adding all the pickle in the jar. All the processes of the pickle are done but it's not yet ready to be eaten. It's edible but not eatable. It will be eatable and tasty after about 8 to 9 days in the sun. So now I am covering the jar. But we need to clean the jar from upwards i mean the spices stick to the jar with a clean and cotton clothes whenever you take the pickle to eat use a dry and clean spoon don't use your hand and remove the spices on the jar upwards like this with a clean cotton cloth now it's ready to go in the sun and it will stay for a whole year without any kind of preservative. So guys try this simple recipe and enjoy. And if you try this recipe don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video.